Hi everyone, welcome. Hi everyone. A month ago, I released a video about this MacBook, um, a short review on how it performed, what it was still capable of. Today, we're going to do a video with this MacBook. This is um, the MacBook Air from 2017. Uh, so it's the latest model. Uh, basically, it's you know, the same model, just upgraded. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do today is see how these two compare to each other. So yeah. is it worth to get the 2017 model over the 2011 model? Yeah, and just to point it out, this one I bought as a refurb for uh, 300 euros. Yeah. Chevy bought this one. Um, Brand new. Yeah. For uh, 999. Yeah, a thousand euros. Uh, yeah, yeah, a thousand so euros. So three times more. Um, will it get you three times the, the performance? Forms. Yeah, that's uh, that's what we're going to find yeah, out. Yeah. Of course, mine has some some dents, some uh, battlefield wounds, but yeah. yeah. If you if you see them com uh, next to each other and it's with a closed lid, they yeah. look absolutely the same. Yeah, you wouldn't even spot. Yeah, even the ports are the same. You know, the only difference here. Yeah is that this one has the MagSafe 2 connector. Uh, MagSafe 1. The MagSafe 1, so the older connector. Yeah. Um, USB 3.0 uh, versus 2.0. 2 um, on the other side as well, uh, the same port, same layout, just newer ports. Yeah. That's the only difference really. Okay, uh, first we're going to start with the boot up. The boot up time? You have a 128 gigabyte SSD. Yeah. Mine only has a 64 gigabyte SSD. Mine is SATA, yours is PCI Express, if I'm correct. Yep. And um, I'm really curious uh, to see on how much faster a Chevy's SSD is going to be. Yeah, me too. Because, yeah, let's be honest, <laughs> it will be faster. It should be. It should be. <laughs> I hope for you. It's, um, it's gonna be a surprise to see which yeah. one wins. This one should win, yeah. according to, to the theory, but. Okay, so my MacBook is ready for action. Yep, both open. And how are we going to do this? Uh, just count down and uh, press the button, I think. Yeah, so, okay, so I count down from three, two, one, and then go, and then we go? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. So, three, two, one, Go. Let's see. In full harmony. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, what we see here, uh, yeah. mine has a black uh, background, this one has a white one. Um, I think that ha it has to do with, you know, the older model, newer model, to change it about. But I can already see it. Yeah, mine is at the moment at Luxury. Yeah. And mine too. Yours is there now? Yeah. So oh. we we don't log in because mine is probably no. way more stuff to, to load than yours because you're not doing anything with your MacBook yeah. than I'm doing. Uh, yeah. Basically the initial boot up um, it just it just loads in all the essential stuff. Yeah. Um, as soon as you log in, um, you're basically loading only personal stuff. Yeah. So, indeed. Yeah, so programs. We're skipping that. We're going to benchmark a couple of things. Yeah. Um, Blackmagic disk mark, want to see that run on both MacBooks. Yeah, yeah. Um, indeed. And uh, also, I'm curious uh, to know if yours actually plays 4K. 4K video. Mine doesn't. It's no. it's, it's a whole stutter party. Yeah, um, yeah. No, it's not watchable. No, let's and see if mine does. Yeah, and um, maybe some of the, the temperatures, because mine um, will get very hot when playback, uh, yeah. with video playback, so. Yeah, we could check out some temperatures, um, you know, maybe some, some other benchmarks uh, just to, to stress the system yeah. a little bit. So, uh, yeah, let's get to benchmarking. Let's get to business then.
Okay, so we ran the benchmarks. Yep, we did the tests and um, results weren't that surprising at all. No, not at all. No. This is the new model, so you would expect it to be faster, and um, yeah, clearly is. As you've seen on the on the 4K test that we did um, with the video. Yeah, there's not an option for no. this one, but. No. Of course, these MacBooks uh, don't have a 4K screen, as simple as that. But yep. if you want to use the external uh, monitor output, mm -hmm. um, you can connect a 4K screen. Yeah. And if you want some uh, video playback on that resolution, then that's not going to fly with this MacBook. No, no. with this no. Um, you can, it, it runs fine. Yeah, but they tend to get really hot at uh, yeah, 1080p is. already, so yeah. yeah. Exactly. SSD test, Yeah. Uh, a big difference. Very big difference. Yeah, then the, it re then the age really shows. Yeah. Yeah, really, really big difference. And also, yeah, the, a bit of a shame, um, this one apparently doesn't support the OpenGL um, with the Cinebench. Yeah. Yeah, the Cinebench uh, benchmark and uh, the Geekbench benchmark. Yeah. So um, it was not driven. Yeah, so only a no, score for you exactly. there, one point, yeah. Yep. So overall, yeah, it, be it beats this one at every test. Um, yeah. What I was kind of surprised at was the network speed test. They were almost the same speed, so yep. um, yeah, I was kind of surprised with that because mm -hmm. um, yeah, also the network card of this one is six years older. Yeah, so it's, it's older indeed. And this is, this one has the AC um, uh, network uh, adapter. Yeah, I don't think this one has, but um, okay, yeah. that and the network speed we tested it. Uh, the upload speed uh, didn't get above 40 megabits. No. That's because my internet speed is 400 down and 40 up. So yeah, so it's the max speed that we have. It's here. the max speed, yeah, and um, the download speed it couldn't get even close to 400. But okay, it's it's wireless, yeah. so different yeah, factors exactly. play play part here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Still, I'm very satisfied with this MacBook. Yeah. So is it um, is it worth the upgrade? Is it worth the upgrade? It depends. It depends. It depends on what you do with it. First, it depends on your budget. If you have a yeah. small budget, if you're on a small budget, then maybe yeah. this is a is a good option for you. Mm -hmm. if, if if the only workflow you're going to do is a little bit of office work and some multimedia playback, yeah. not above uh, 1080p. Mm -hmm. If you want some more performance, maybe. A little bit casual gaming. Yeah, we didn't run this benchmarks is, uh, on those, but exactly, it is capable of running some simple games, simple game, very yeah. simple games. So no GTA 5 on this. No, one. no, you would have to still run run the games on on low, but yeah, um, and uh, also I think GTA 5 is not even playable on on Mac. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, no, 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 um, no fancy stuff. No, but yeah. So and if you do some more serious um, office work or like presentations you go around you know giving presentations with external screens maybe 4k screens then this one is of course the better option yeah yeah um, but of the obviously most people would then choose for the pro version yeah instead of In, indeed yeah yeah okay but um yeah overall i think um this one still holds up very well for for six years old yeah for the price that is of yeah. course yeah okay so um we're gonna leave it at this yeah if you have any comments, suggestions, maybe some advice, please leave them in the comment section. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. All right. Bye. Bye.